in the previous two sessions we went over insurance claims introduction and the loss of stock concept in great detail today we will learn how to approach the problem in four simple steps before we begin let us review the key concepts in less than a minute there are only two main objectives in loss of stock problems one finding the closing stock on the date of fire and other one calculate the claim amount we will prepare a memorandum trading account to determine this closing stock on the date of fire the next step is to determine the loss of stock which is equal to the closing stock on the date of fire minus the salvage value so after that we must determine whether the policy is under insured or over insured if the average clause applies or the problem is silent the claim amount will be calculated in proportion to the total risk that is loss of stock into policy amount divided by closing stock on the date of fire if the average clause is not applicable the claim amount will be loss of stock or the policy amount whichever is lower we will solve one conceptual problem in the in three different cases and i will give notes on four simple steps to solve the problem compute claim for loss of stock in each of the following case in the given problem we need to determine the claim amount based on the closing stock on the date of fire and the policy amount let's start with case a stock on the date of fire 5 lakhs salvage value 1 lakh stock that has been saved from the fire is called salvage value policy amount 5 lakhs now we have to determine loss of stock and claim amount. sir what is the need of uh, finding loss of stock insurance as an indemnity contract we cannot claim more than the actual loss suffered the reason behind finding the loss of stock loss of stock equal to closing stock on the date of fire minus salvage value my dear students what is the closing stock on the date of fire 5 lakhs salvage value 1 lakh 5 lakhs minus 1 lakh equal to 4 lakhs so loss of stock equal to 4 lakh now claim amount calculation first determine whether the average clause is applicable or not we must examine two condition whether policy is under insured or average clause is mentioned in the agreement sir to determine whether the policy is under insured or over insured we need to compare policy amount with closing stock on the date of fire so in case a what is the closing stock on the date of fire 5 lakhs policy amount is 5 lakhs so it is neither an over insured neither an under insured so average clause is not applicable in case a case a average clause is not applicable so whenever average clause is not applicable claim amount will be loss of stock or policy amount which ever is lower so loss of stock 4 lakhs and the policy amount 5 lakh which is lower than 4 lakhs or 5 lakhs 4 lakhs is the lower amount. the claim amount will be in case a is 4 lakh now case b closing stock on the date of fire 5 lakhs salvage value 50000 policy amount 6 lakhs now we have to determine loss of stock and claim amount loss of stock equal to closing stock on the date of fire minus salvage value dear students what is the closing stock on the date of fire in case b 5 lakhs salvage value 50000 5 lakhs minus 50000 so loss of stock equal to 4 lakhs 50000 now claim amount calculation the given case b whether average clause is applicable or not so whether policy is under insured or over insured how will you determine to know whether the policy is under insured or over insured always compare policy amount with closing stock on the date of fire closing stock on the date of fire is 5 lakhs and policy amount is 6 lakhs in the given case the policy amount is over insured so average clause is not applicable whenever average clause is not applicable the claim amount will be loss of stock or policy amount whichever is lower so loss of stock equal to 4 lakh 50000 or 6 lakhs whichever is lower than 4 lakh 50000 is the lower amount so claim amount will be 4 lakhs 50000 case c closing stock on the date of fire 5 lakh salvage value 50000 and policy amount 4 lakhs how to determine loss of stock nana loss of stock equal to closing stock on the date of fire minus salvage value dear students what is the closing stock on the date of fire 5 lakhs and salvage value 50000 so 5 lakhs minus 50000 equal to 4 lakhs 50000 loss of stock equal to 4 lakhs 50000 claim amount calculation first determine whether average clause is applicable 
or not in case c policy amount is under insured or over insured to determine whether policy is under insured or over insured always we should compare policy amount with closing stock on the date of fire the closing stock on the date of fire is 5 lakhs and the policy amount is how much nana 4 lakhs and policy amount is 4 lakhs since policy is under insured average clause is applicable whenever average clause applicable claim amount will be calculated proportionately loss of stock into policy amount divided by closing stock on the date of fire so loss of stock equal to 4 lakhs 50 thousand and policy amount 4 lakhs closing stock on the date of fire is 5 lakhs so 4 lakhs 50 thousand into 4 lakhs divided by 5 lakhs equal to how much nana 3 lakhs 60 thousand we understand from this sum that we cannot claim more than the actual loss suffered in the event of under insurance, we calculate the claim amount proportionately. Now, we'll go over four simple steps and take detailed notes on what we learned in the previous two sessions. Steps in computation of claim for loss of stock. Step number one, computation of gross profit ratio. You may ask, sir, why we require gross profit? When we prepare memorandum trading account, we need gross profit so that we arrive closing stock as a balancing figure. Further, we require gross profit ratio point number one if gross profit ratio is given in the question consider such gross profit ratio as it is let's say in the given problem 20 percent gross profit ratio is given and sales are 10 lakhs 10 lakhs into 20 percent so 2 lakhs is the gross profit point number two if gross profit ratio of two or more period given then take average why because gpr may not be same in every year so you have to consider trend third point if GPR is not given, if gross profit ratio is not given, then trading account of previous year is prepared, in which GP is arrived as a balancing figure. So GP ratio equal to gross profit divided by sales into 100. In preparation of about trading account, effect of abnormal item shall be eliminated. Sir, what is abnormal item? What are the damaged goods? We'll discuss in detail now. Fifth point effect of price level changes effect of price level changes should be considered in determining current year gross profit ratio margin may not be same in every year step 2 computation of closing stock on the date of fire point number 1 memorandum trading account is prepared for the period commencing from beginning of the year in which fire accident occurred till the date of fire third point all information other than closing stock will be estimated and considered in about trading account fourth point thereby closing stock is arrived as a balancing figure this stock will represent the stock on the date of fire step number three computation of loss of stock so loss of stock equal to closing stock on the date of fire minus salvage value or salvage value retained step number four computation of claim for loss of stock if average clause is not applicable then claim amount will be loss of stock or policy amount whichever is lower if average clause is applicable then claim amount will be computed as loss of stock into policy amount divided by stock on the date of fire Dear students, thank you for watching. Please give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe bell icon for more content.